Okay, John, we finished up your harness. It's all back to factory. I got the injector line outside the harness. And after we're done with the harness, everything checked out. The harness, there was nothing wrong with it. So that was a freebie because that was my bad. So I ended up turning the key again and I still got that light. But what happened was I was fiddling around with the cables to the computer over yonder and I got a more better ground to it. I have the key on as you can see by the dash lights and I unplugged all the injectors except for one just to show you demonstration when I unplugged this the first injector which you can see right there the red one uh, it still remained lit and then I unplugged the back one which is way back there I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see that it still remained lit I unplugged the third one, which is, oh, I mean the fourth one, which is way back here. That's four. That's three. And number two is barely plugged in. So look it. When I plug number two in, I'm putting my hand over here. Lights up. Disconnect number two. Turns off. Connected. Disconnect. Connected. Disconnected. It's supposed to be like that on all four of those uh, injectors. And as soon as I plug number two in, lit. So that's telling me that number two shorted out. So you're going to need a set of injectors because they all have, let's see. Uh, as you can see, that it says. 1,900, 1,091, or 191,927. So that's almost two grand on those injectors. And these injectors have to be red, that color. They can't be the black ones because you got low impedance injectors, or low voltage injectors, and you got high voltage injectors. The high voltage injectors are black. The low voltage are that crimson or red color so those are the kind that we're gonna have to get and then my truck will run or your truck feels like mine because i had it so long all right well i just wanted to make that video so you can see it i figured it out and got another part to add to the list all right see you later